Hi guys, it's Jen Forster and Vicky Magic here from Y Fitness Magazine and Y Fitness TV. Um, today we're doing our five in five, that's our five questions in five minutes um, with this guy right here. Now, you'd probably have to have been living under a rock um, to not know who this person is. However, um, I'm going to ask this guy to tell us who he is and what does he think he's famous for? Well, hello ladies, hello Y Fitness. <laughs> hope, uh, hope you're having a fantastic day. What am I famous for? Yeah, what do you think you're famous for? My black sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. And no excuses. Fantastic. Would I be right? I, I think you'd be right. I think, and, and what do you think people would know you as, better know you as? Oh, better know me as is, is, you know, the guy with the no excuses, who trains the contestants on The Biggest Loser, and now you lovely ladies, the boot camp that I just put you through. <laughs> Which was hell on earth, <laughs> just saying. You can read about that in our next issue. Vic. So Steve, tell us, how did you get started in all of this? Well, I've, I've been interested in fitness my whole life. It, it's something that I've, I've always been drawn to. Um, I joined the military at 18 when I left school. I spent a good 10 years in the military. And, and, and transitioning out of the army, I wanted to help people, you know, achieve a level of fitness that I had. I um, was introduced to CrossFit, and around the same time, I was fortunate enough to, to land the role as the commander on The Biggest Loser, and here we sit today. Fantastic. This is my favorite question. Who do you want to be when you grow up? Superman. <laughs> and why? 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 Because he's cool. He can do everything. He can fly. You know, he can lift heavy things. And he and also gets to wear his jocks on the outside. <laughs> I haven't done that yet. Maybe one day. Maybe. Superman without a shirt. Yeah. <laughs> no, no shirt off. <laughs> Go. So um, when you're not, you know, doing boot camps and mm. on TV and all of these other things yeah. that you're part of, what do you do for fun? What's Gosh, your time fun. out? Yeah, like it's it's. Jeez, I, I don't get a lot of time off, um, you know, with where I'm at at this point in time. But training for me is, is an outlet in itself. It helps me to just de-stress, to, to relax. But I do like to get out into the wilderness. I like to get out there and just live life. Um, you know, I have three young children, so enjoying time with them as well. And, and just, like, it's doing what you know, a lot of everyday people do. You know, I'm, I'm a human being just like anybody else. Mm. You're laying on the beach, you know, going on a going on a holiday and just chilling out completely. Yeah. Yeah. That's been so evident um, over the last couple of days. I'm really like impressed at how down to earth you really are and how you are just a person just like us. No, well, mm. thank you, and and I guess that's that's something that I've always tried to to hold on to. Um, I think with a lot of the things that I've done in my life, you know, and and. And you're gearing myself towards that, that that hardship and always you know challenging myself it helps to keep you uh, or maintain you know that that level headedness and that grounding mm -hmm. and um you, know, you just can relate with people so much better mm -hmm. on, on a daily basis mm -hmm. you know again we're all just human beings and, and you're not on a pedestal oh gosh I, I don't like to you know consider myself you know on a pedestal at all mm, like, oh, so i'm just evident. a mm -hmm. I'm just a mm -hmm. guy like mm -hmm. you know any other guy out there yeah, with bigger muscles. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, you know, and it comes down to, you know, it comes and down to the training. And a sexier voice, can oh, I just you. say. <laughs> and pretty nice eyes. <laughs> 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 All right, we are gushing, but we're going to come back to the final question, our fifth question. The whole crux of our magazine, the hot, at the very core, is always the why. Um, the final question, Steve, for you is, what's your why? Why do you do what you do? Oh, well, just listening to, to the both of you and, you know, how you're, you're giving me that positive feedback, it's fantastic. You know, I, I work hard and I like to help people you know, change their lives, first and foremost. That's what it's, that's what it's all about. You know, I, I have this level of fitness and, and, you know, the way in which I lead my life. But for me to be doing it on my own, you know, what's the point? I want other people to, to share in those experiences and, you know, not have to worry about whether they can or can't do something. Mm. You know, they, they have the confidence, the self-esteem to just get out there and do it. Mm -hmm. you know, I, sorry, I, no, I don't no. mean to cut you off, but when I was younger, I wanted to be a builder. You know, that's in my family history. 
Uh, I wanted an apprenticeship. I, it was a bit hard to get apprenticeships, uh, get apprenticeships at that point in time, so I joined the army. You know, the army taught me a lot, but I felt that there was more to life than the army. You know, whether I was there or not, those 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 wheels of, of move the army just you know steamrolling ahead. I get out of the army. Thought I'm going to help people. You know, change their lives. And look what I'm doing now. I'm actually helping them to reconstruct. So from the foundation up. So essentially, I'm being that builder, mm. but in a different sense. Mm. Building on technique, building on strength. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the next issue is all about um, gadgets and gizmos. Mm. What are your What are your favourite gadgets and gizmos? We're doing bonus questions here, people. Oh gosh, <laughs> gadgets and gizmos. I guess I'm a guy. The guys like all you know, gadgets, cars, you know, all those types of things. Um, if you could yeah. only have two gadgets and gizmos, mm, two gosh. things, if you were, you know, stranded somewhere and you, you, you could yeah, take two things yeah. with you, what were the two things you'd grab out of your gym, out of your fitness area? Oh, so it's got to be fitness orientated? Oh, well, well, my phone, for first sure. and, my phone first and foremost, yep. because, you know, my phone and communication, well, granted if the communication's removed, but my music, and, um, and also some of the applications uh, around, um, you know, being able to measure distance. Mm -hmm. And the other one is, um, is, for, for like circuits, so interval timers and all yep. those types of things, and, and yep. they come in very handy. Yep. Secondly, gosh, you got me here. Favorite piece of fit, you know, you, oh, what, favorite what's piece. The one if, bit of if there was something else, that you'd take? gosh, if it was one, it would probably be a. Um, I like my skipping rope. I like my skipping rope. You know, it folds okay. up nice and easy. It's compact and. You can get a workout. Yeah, you can go out and run. You can do a lot of different things. But I really enjoy skipping and doing that together with a number of other bodyweight exercises. So yeah, yeah, my phone and my skipping rope. Right. Um, I'm really running with this because this is just gold. I think it is. You do too, right? Um, can you give us, if you could, just three tips around health and fitness to someone who is, you know, watching this and maybe even considering, you know, joining one of your commando fit boot camps. Mm. Um, you know, and, and they're not so fit, but they want to be. Yeah. What, what are three things well, you'd say to them? First and foremost, it's the mindset. So yeah. drawing the line and telling yourself you're in or, or giving yourself that option. You're either in or you're out. There's yeah. no in between. Yeah. Make the choice. Hopefully you're in. Yeah. Secondly is nutrition. Yeah. It's, and, and thirdly, it's your training. Yeah. Be consistent with both of those. Yeah. And if you're in, you know, it shouldn't be a problem. But a lot of people have problems with the discipline and, and the and the consistency behind those two things. Yeah. They're, they're the variables that you can control. Yeah. Control them, you will see change, yeah. and with that change, yeah. you know, comes the motivation. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Anything to finish? Anything you'd like to share to finish? Well, I've had a fantastic time here in Binamaro with you ladies and, and the rest of the group. Yeah. It's been great, you know, putting you through your paces. Yeah. And uh, to all you people out there that may be interested, you know, check out the Commando Steve website. You know, sign up, come along, we can have some fun and laughter. You'll love it. You've got to do it. It's awesome. <laughs> really inspiring. <laughs> um, Thank thanks, you. thanks, guys. Thanks, Y Fitness. And uh, keep a look out for the next five in five. Who knows who we might stumble across? Maybe someone else like Steve Willis. See you soon. Thanks, Y Fitness. <laughs> okay. That's that a good. Awesome. That was so fantastic. <laughs>